What's up YouTube? This is Ryu Itachi here to bring you another anime review. And what I'm going to talk about in this session is going to be the anime known as Elfin Laid, if I'm pronouncing that right. Now I must say I did enjoy the anime. It was, it was, it was also short, just like my last review. I think it was like 13 episodes. The manga still goes uh, a little further, but the anime is pretty short, so I just marathoned it. But uh, I, I did like it. It was a lot different than a lot of anime that I watched. It was definitely more gruesome. The first, if you've seen the first episode, like the first five, ten minutes, it starts off with this mystery lady who's uh, completely naked but wearing a, like a helmet or whatever. She's literally just like slicing people's arms off, uh, heads and everything. And like, what, what to me kind of separated is just like, as far as gruesome, it's like you actually seen the limbs being tore off, you've seen the blood, you've seen the guts, and you've seen the bones. But a lot of anime, like when gruesome things happen, they like, you know, they fade out and they just show nothing. Or if they show the limb, it's uh, like colored really darkly so you can't see nothing. But this was like almost like real. Like when, when she cut off her head, you've seen everything fly out. Like, there was nothing pretty about it. And that's how it starts out. It's like the first five or ten minutes where she literally is just killing. Like I think she killed like twenty people. And uh, but yeah, so uh, I liked it. But uh, the story is pretty much just about you got humans, and then you got I I don't remember their exact name, but they're pretty much mutants. They're technically human, but they uh, they got horns on their head. Oh, it kind of looks like cat ears or something. And I got these things called vectors which are just invisible arms uh, I don't know if they necessarily come off their back but that's where it's shown and these arms which it may sound stupid at first but it's actually pretty cool because the arms are like invisible and they're like super super impenetrable like it's pretty much in every fight they're getting shot at with bullets and like the bullets just like bounce right off it de depends on how strong the mutant is depends on like how strong the ammunition has to be but uh so the hands, they're invisible, so no one can see it, and uh, they're super strong. Uh, they're pretty much used for two purposes, either like just launching, launching stuff, and uh, they can cut. They can pretty much cut anything. I don't necessarily understand how that, how a hand can cut, but that's that's pretty much their powers. And uh, each each mutant arms or vectors uh, can extend x amount of feet. Like we see the the main character, uh, her arm, her vectors can extend like I think seven feet or something. It's two meters, so you know you do the conversion. But uh, it's pretty interesting because the main character, um, she's a she's different from humans. So obviously, she, when she was younger, she got picked on, and pretty much had like a horrible life. And I think that in turn made her kind of go like crazy because like if you see the all 13 episodes she pretty much has like almost three different personalities she has her personality which is like the more sadder uh, personality she's got a childish personality because when af after you see like the first 10 minutes of her killing everyone she gets shot in the head and somehow survives so she she has like an amnesia personality but that acts like a child and then you got like the, the, the straight like killing personality or like if you walk by her, that she she'll just kill you for the fun of it. So you see her kind of struggle between all three personalities throughout like the whole series. And uh, that's 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 also one of the main reasons why I think it's good because it's it's not necessarily just about like the powers. It's it's showing uh, like the segregation almost of the humans from the mutants. You know the mutants are treated horrible, and they're like. They're tortured 24/7 from birth, and just because they're different. So I, I thought that was interesting. So the humans are thinking they're killers, but it's like, I mean, they're killers, but in the same sense, it's like these—they're all women. So like they—they've been tortured from birth, and some of them, I think one of them was like uh, 10 years old. They—they they range in ages, but their whole life they're being tortured by humans just because they're different so obviously if you're if you're tortured from someone you're not going to like your torturer so so the humans said that they didn't like 
the, the mutants didn't like the humans, but it's like, well, of course not, because they've been tortured from the humans. But, uh, I think it was good. Uh, at the end, at the end of the series, you see each, uh, mutant develop, uh, like a certain love for one character. Like, the main character has a love for one person, so although she's a killer, she won't harm that person. And each, each mutant has, like, one person that they won't harm no matter what. But they, they all seem to be, uh, a little crazy. But, I think it's definitely worth checking out. It's pretty decent. It's only 13 episodes. I, I did marathon it, but it only took a few hours to watch. So, I definitely think you should, uh, check it out if you're into the gruesome. The, it is, a uh, pretty much a lot of nudity. But, it's not, like, in the perverted type sense. It's more, like, realistic battling. You know, if you get thrown into a building, odds are your clothes ain't gonna be resilient as you are. But, uh, minus that, I do, I give it a, I give it a thumbs up, and I definitely recommend you watching it. So, that's it, and that's the review.